Good evening. I'm here to tell you guys about something really exciting. Are you ready? It starts and ends with the kids. I have two young kids, and I can tell you, based on the sheer volume of birthday parties I'm going to, there are a lot of kids in Seattle. In fact, there are over 430,000 middle and high school students enrolled in Western Washington, but they're going to face challenges. Currently, only six out of every 100 students, ninth graders in Washington State, will graduate from college with degrees in science, technology, engineering, and math. Washington is one of the best states at creating STEM jobs, but we're 49th in preparing our own kids for those jobs. We see similar challenges in the maritime sector, where our partners, providers of great jobs, cite a hiring crisis and have to look out of state for qualified applicants. Meanwhile, our own kids, especially those from underserved communities, simply don't have access to smart, quality STEM programs or the Puget Sound at all. And with climate change and ocean acidification bringing challenges to this region, there are issues many know nothing about. There's a looming crisis on Puget Sound. <laughs> Salish Sea Expeditions, the organization that I direct, has been running programs on the sound in STEM for 18 years, since before that was even a thing. We've hosted over 15,000 students and 1,000 teachers aboard ship, and we have an 80% return rate. But we only have access to our shared vessel for 100 days a year. And despite that, our programs grow every year. And they work. We know they work because the students tell us so. Students like Bridget, speaking at our breakfast, who said now careers in maritime and study in STEM are options for her, options she never had before. Or Haley, designing ships at the Gloucester, or Cassidy, working as a deckhand on the sound. And because they work, we want every student in Washington State to have an opportunity to participate, starting with the 430,000 right on the waterfront. But our challenge is, our ship is full up to the gunnels. Now, I've been running programs like this for 15 years in three different cities. Close to 50,000 kids have crossed the decks of ships on my watch. I've never seen a no-brainer like this. A huge untapped market, no competition, a great maritime city, a proven program that we can scale. But to do so, we're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> And the good news is, we found one. Salish recently took possession of an 82-foot steel motor vessel, custom designed to demonstrate science equipment for the Marconi Company. In two months, completely in-house, we raised 75% of the generously low purchase price of $210,000. We've created the infrastructure of a capital campaign to retrofit her, and we have six-figure asks under consideration at major shipping company foundations. But way more exciting to me than all of this fundraising is the fact that this ship is going to let us serve way more kids. We'll immediately be able to launch summer programs, winter programs, day programs with our existing partners like the Seattle Aquarium and the Boys and Girls Club, working with public schools, private schools, charter schools, and independent schools. And as we serve more kids, we'll provide more scholarships and in turn be invited to apply to bigger and bigger foundations. But if I only get one thing right tonight, besides the pants, <laughs> it's got to be this. This is a sustainable business run as a nonprofit. With Electra, we'll immediately run three times as many days on the water, serving eight times as many students, earning four times more earned revenue through program fees than we've ever seen before. For 20 years, we've grown, earning only 35% of our revenue through program fees. With Electra, program fees will fund our organization, and our fundraising team will be freed up to raise money for scholarships, better technology, and bigger ships. And we'll have branding opportunities for interested investors looking to make empowered, looking to make positive change in the community and perhaps get some good PR. And we're ready. Our team have over 40 years' experience with the energy and the ambition to scale this program. And behind us, we have the type of board and council of advisors that other organizations would only dream of, with the vision and the connections to execute. But I know what you're thinking. Ships cost money. 
But I ask this, who better to help us keep our overhead down than our original investors, the owners of dry docks, maritime companies, and commercial fishing fleets? And we're ready. We've designed five learning stations aboard ship, like this water column sampling station on the stern, and we have earmarked funds already set aside from companies you've heard about. And with the digital connectivity that this ship allows us, serving students in classrooms all around the world, we hope and dream that the tech and VC communities are going to want to participate in this. It's just too cool not to come aboard. <laughs> Tonight, we're looking for $50,000 to help us complete the purchase of this vessel. Your one-time tax-deductible investment will let us get one step closer to launching the region's first high-tech STEM vessel for kids. Thank you. Thank you.